Frogs and Toads by Bobby Kalman and Tammy Everts. In and out of water. Frogs and toads belong to a group of animals called amphibians. An amphibian is an animal that can live on land and in the water. Most amphibians spend the first part of their lives swimming like a fish. As adults, they can move about on land, so they spend less time in the water. Adult amphibians breathe with lungs. They also breathe through their skin. Amphibians are cold-blooded. Their body temperature does not always stay the same as ours does. They are as warm or cold as the air around them. What is a frog? Frogs and toads look similar, but they are different in some ways. A frog has smooth, moist skin. It needs to live close to water. If a frog's skin dries out, the frog will die. Frogs have small teeth on their upper jaw. They do not use their teeth for biting or chewing. They use them for holding prey. Toads do not have teeth. The long, powerful back legs of frogs allow them to take huge leaps. A frog's back leg has four joints. There is one at the hip, one at the knee, and two at the ankle. Some tree frogs leap great distances from tree to tree. Sticky discs on the ends of their toes help them land on branches and leaves. The webbed feet of this flying frog help it soar through the air. What is a toad? Toads have dry, rough skin. Some toads have lumps on their skin. These lumps are called tubercles or warts. People once believed that touching a toad would give them warts, but now we know this is not true. A toad's poisonous skin, however, can make animals sick. Toads can be found far from water. A toad travels by walking, taking short hops, or running on its four legs. Its legs are not as long or strong as a frog's. Frog and Toad Homes Frogs and toads live almost everywhere in the world, except where it is very cold. They stay in cool, shady places when they are hot. They sit in the sun when they are cold. Some frogs and toads live in holes in the ground. Some live in ponds and lakes. Some live inside flowers or rotting logs. Some even live high up in the trees. Yummy Frog Food Frogs and toads eat worms, snails, and insects such as mosquitoes and dragonflies. They do not need to drink. They take in water through their skin. Many frogs and toads have a long, sticky tongue for catching food. The tongue is attached at the front of their mouth and it stays rolled up until it is needed. When an insect buzzes by, the tongue quickly shoots out, catches the insect, and pulls it into the mouth. Frogs and toads have great aim. The Cycle of Life In the spring and summer, frogs and toads gather in large groups in ponds and streams. These large groups are called breeding courses. They meet to mate and lay eggs. The eggs grow into adult frogs and toads. The changing and growing from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. These pictures show the metamorphosis of a frog. The male sings or croaks to attract a female. He sits on her back and spreads sperm on her eggs as she lays them. Females lay hundreds or thousands of eggs in the water. Frogs lay their eggs in clumps. Toads lay them in strings. The eggs are called spawn. After a few days, the eggs turn into a tadpole. Tadpoles have long tails and breathe through flaps called gills. They cannot live out of the water. The tadpoles soon grow legs. They lose their gills and develop lungs for breathing out of water. Their tails get shorter and shorter until they disappear. One day, an adult frog hops out of the water and onto land. An adult frog's skin does not grow as a frog grows. Instead, the old skin splits and peels off, leaving a brand new skin underneath. Then the frog or toad eats its own skin. Ribbit, ribbit! Have you ever heard the croaking of frogs and toads on a quiet summer night? Long ago, frogs and toads were the only animals that could make sounds. Now male and female frogs use sounds to find a mate. Only the males croak or sing. The females have quieter voices. Male frogs and toads sing without opening their mouths. 
they have a voice sac in their throat. The voice sac is made of stretchy skin that swells like a balloon. Inside the balloon of skin, air moves back and forth and echoes. As the air touches the vocal cords, it makes a croaking noise. Some frogs and toads make unusual sounds. The pig frog sounds like a grunting pig. The cricket frog sounds like a chirping cricket. Can you guess what sound this barking tree frog makes? Big bulging eyes. Some frogs and toads have beautiful eyes that come in brilliant colors. Some eyes look like gold or silver. Others look like jewels of red, blue, or green. A frog or toad's eyes are wide apart and they bulge from the top of the head. The frog or toad can see above, beside, ahead, and even behind itself to look for food or enemies. Frogs and toads see well at night. They are also good at seeing moving things. A fly can sit in front of a frog's nose and the frog will not notice it. But if the fly moves, the frog will eat it in a flash. Frogs and toads have an extra eyelid. They can see through this clear eyelid. It covers their eyes like a diver's mask when they are swimming. Eardrums. Look for the ears on this frog. Believe it or not, almost all frogs and toads have ears. Their ears are very different from the ears of other animals. Frog and toad ears are called tympanums. The tympanum is a layer of skin. It does not stick out from the head and there is no hole. Sound bounces off of the tympanum in the same way a drumstick hits a drum. The frog hears by feeling the bounce. Male frogs have larger tympanums than female frogs. Frogs have larger tympanums than toads. Winter sleep. Frogs and toads are cold-blooded. They can die of heat during hot weather. They can freeze to death in cold weather. In the winter, frogs and toads must find warm homes to stay alive. Frogs and toads sleep or hibernate through the winter. A frog dives down into the bottom of a pond and buries itself in the mud. A toad buries itself in the earth or curls up inside a rotting log. In springtime, the rain softens the ground and warms up the pond. As the frog or toad feels the heat, it wakes up and comes out to enjoy the sunshine. Save colors. Frogs and toads have many predators. A predator is an animal or bird that hunts and eats another animal. Frogs and toads try to avoid predators such as snakes, otters, and birds by not being seen. The colors of the frogs and toads allow them to blend into their surroundings. A frog's green skin is hidden or camouflaged in greenish pond water or among leaves and grass. When a toad sits on earth, twigs, or dead leaves, its bumpy brown skin is also hard to see. Deadly colors. Brightly colored skin shows animals that some frogs and toads are poisonous. A bird might eat a colorful frog, such as this poison dart frog, and become very sick. That bird will learn never to eat a poison dart frog again. The poisonous red-bellied tree frog shows off its bright tummy. The poison dart frog's bright colors warn enemies not to even try eating it. This friendly looking yellow-headed tree frog makes a nasty tasting treat for birds and snakes. Weird frogs. Frogs and toads are fascinating creatures, but some are more interesting than others. Look at the unusual frogs on these pages. The banjo frog likes to burrow in the sand where it is protected from enemies and the hot sun. Watch out! The horned frog below has very sharp teeth and a bad temper. These tree frogs have long fingers with sticky tips that help them climb trees. The cask-headed frog has big buggy eyes and most unusual nose. No more golden toads. Frogs and toads are important. They eat harmful insects that could destroy crops or carry diseases. Unfortunately, there are fewer frogs and toads than there used to be. Some people think the reason is that houses and factories have been built where frogs and toads used to live. Other people think that the water pollution has killed most of the frogs and toads. 
The beautiful golden toads on this page may already be extinct. Extinct means that a plant or animal no longer exists. No one has seen the golden toad in several years. Scientists are sorry that they did not have more time to learn about this fabulous toad. The end.